The Great Emu War of Australia 1932. In 1932, Australia found itself engaged in a bizarre war not against another country, but against emus. Yes, emus the large, flightless birds native to the country. It all started after World War I, when Australian farmers, many of whom were veterans, were struggling to grow crops in the western part of the country. Then, a flock of around 20,000 emus migrated inland from the coast in search of food and found the farmland perfect for their foraging needs. The emus began destroying crops at an alarming rate, causing chaos for the farmers. Desperate for a solution, the farmers turned to the government, which, in a remarkable decision, sent soldiers armed with machine guns to deal with the emu problem. The military operation was led by Major G.P.W. Meredith of the Royal Australian Artillery. Over the course of the campaign, dubbed the Great Emu War, the soldiers encountered more difficulty than they had anticipated. The emus were surprisingly fast and highly coordinated, making it hard to hit them. The soldiers chased them through the countryside, but the emus were often able to dodge gunfire and escape unscathed. It turned into a comical game of cat and mouse, and despite firing thousands of rounds, only a small number of emus were actually killed. After about a month of fighting, the soldiers declared defeat. The emus had won. Major Meredith later remarked on the emus' resilience, saying they could face machine guns with the invulnerability of tanks. The government eventually abandoned the military approach and compensated the farmers for their crop losses instead. To this day, the Great Emu War remains one of the strangest conflicts in history one where the birds came out on top.